Hello everyone. Today we are going to build a recommendation engine using Spark and Scala. What is a recommendation engine? Formally, it can be said that recommender systems is a family of methods that enabling enable filtering through large observation and information space in order to provide recommendations in the information space that user user does not have any observation, uh, which means that it takes the available data to make suggestions for something that a website user might be interested in, such as a book or a video. Uh, an example that we all know of is Amazon. So let's say I search for the word fast text. It gives me, it shows me the uh, product that I'm interested in. Uh, this is basically a book that I've recently written on fast text uh, and a, a very popular NLP library. So if I go down below here, uh, this will basically give me recent viewed items and future recommendations. So you can see multiple books here. Uh, going back, uh, the keyword here is that the user might not have specifically asked or searched for that item. But is the task of the platform to guess that the user might be interested in the same? Uh, so in this case, in this uh, video, we will go through the Hello World of Recommendation Systems, which is the movie recommendation system, to show our users how uh, movies that might be uh, enjoyable to the uh, user. So generally what happens is uh, recommendation engines are built using the collaborative filtering method, which is... Uh, basically a subset of algorithms that exploit other users and items along with the ratings uh, it may be selection purchase information history etc uh, fundamental assumption behind this approach is that other users preference over the items could be used to recommend an item to the user who did not see the item or purchase it before um, the of course the basic intuition is that the personal taste correlated for a given domain and information space. Uh, there are advantages over other um, uh, methods, which is that uh, if the item information is not available, we do not need it as long as some users purchase the item and uh, well, there is better explainability. So, right. Uh, this in uh, Spark and Scala, what is uh, used is the for the recommendation uh, um, uh, systems. The alternating least square method is basically used. You can uh, get it from the um, org uh, uh, Apache Spark ML evolution uh, uh, classes. You can see it inside there. So it is basically based on this uh, large scale parallel collaborative filtering for the Netflix. Net Netflix uh, price uh, paper. So let's take a cursory glance on this paper. Uh, the thing that I would like to um, focus on here is the algorithm. So basically, what happens is uh, you have uh, uh, on each iteration uh, one of the user or item factor matrices are treated as fixed while the other is updated using the uh, fixed factor uh, or rating data so uh, the factor matrix is in turn treated as uh, fixed while the other one is updated uh, this process continues until the model is converged or there are there is a basically if uh, a stopping criterion is satisfied in Spark and Scala, if so, let me first start a Spark Scala Spark shell. And uh, let me also load the data and take a look at the data text file. I have it in my Here, file system. I have already downloaded the files. So, write raw data. Dot. Let me take a look at the file that it has. Okay, it has been loaded correctly. So, uh, this is like the first record in the 
uh, first record so now if you can see here the first one is the user ID if you can see here the first one is the user ID uh, second column is basically the movie ID uh, third is the rating rating that is given and the fourth is the uh, timestamp so uh, to do the recommend to build the model we will need to import uh, org dot apache dot spark dot so if you see here there are uh, ml and ml lib packages uh, you will get the ALS uh, model on both ml and ml lib uh, if the if you have the question which one you should use so I will uh, so you can you can take a look at this uh, uh, stack overflow post which says that uh, mllib contains old rdd based api while ml contains the new api around uh, data set and ml pipelines so unless your goal is backward compatibility then the right choice is the ml library so we are going to use the ml library we will basically need two models from the ALS and the ALS model and uh, we'll use the ALS model later we'll see the use of that uh, but uh, the ALS is what we are going to use right now so we have uh, the raw data that we just uh, created the RDD now we need some way to parse the RDD so we are going to create a rating case class with user id which is an int uh, movie id which is also an int rating with which we will say sorry 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 we will call it a float and timestamp which we will call a long so um we will define the parse string which takes in the record as a string and returns the uh, case class that we have just created uh, so each record will be broke will be uh, split based on the tab which is you will see which is the delimiter here and we will assert that our field has four uh, fields or not and then finally we will return the rating so in So first is an integer uh, second is also an integer the rating is a float so and the last the uh, timestamp is a long and then we close the function so we have the parse string uh, from record to rating method now we need to pass it to raw data and uh, convert it into a data frame so we will have the raw data dot map which takes in the parse string and uh, convert it into a data frame okay so it has been converted let's see how this looks like so we have user id movie id rating and timestamp 
fine uh, important step uh, next is an important step where we will basically break it into break the waiting random split uh, 80 uh, so test is 20% uh, okay great so let's see uh, train let's show test right so it has around this one while your data had so it's around 80 percent so now we need to build the uh, recommendation on the training data so we will create the uh, ALS instance so maximum iteration let's take five iterations uh, regularization parameter let's take it 0 0.01 uh, uh, user column needs to be set uh, which in this case so if you see here this is uh -oh. right uh, item column needs to be set which in this case is our movie and the rating column needs to be set which in this case is this so it will select the appropriate uh, uh, columns now uh, now uh, we can try and fit our data so uh, we will create our model um, and call the fit function so training is going on um, so you should probably have these uh, uh, classes as part of uh, your uh, spark implementation so it will it will take uh, the implementation so now we can we can do the evolution uh, by computing the root mean square value on the test data uh, model dot set cool start strategy we will drop it uh, and then so that we don't uh, have any null values uh, so predictions are model dot transform on the test right so let's see what the predictions give so it's running the predictions right so you can see that there is an extra uh, prediction column that comes up so now we can create the evaluator uh, we can uh, do the evolution so for that we need to import the evaluator class right there is the new version evaluator uh, we will say that metric name is 
Messi and our label is of course the rating sorry and our prediction column is the prediction so our root mean square error is uh, evaluate on the predictions so you can see that um, our root mean square error is uh, 1.070 so now we want to see the recommendations for the user so uh, user re recommendations is model dot we have multiple uh, methods here recommend for all items recommend for all users recommend for item subset recommend for user subset so since we are interested in users we will go with the recommend for all users which take the uh, number of items basically so i can uh, let's say uh, 10 items for each user so Selects to the 471 dot show right it gave I got an error here which is basically uh, failed to check existence of the class package in this so illegal character but okay uh, don't worry about this right now so we got the recommendations so yeah uh, now you may want to save the models because to my recommendation model so oops let me do it right, right. and then i can model dot save to the path so it has saved the save to the path uh, to retrieve uh, this I will need the ls model function which takes in the path right so guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. In case you are interested in machine learning and NLP, do check out my recent book on fast text. Uh, do share and subscribe to my channel for more uh, Spark videos. Have a great day. Bye.